Hi guys, it's Les Perrier again. Have you ever found cassette tapes and you want to put them on your computer so you can make them into MP3 files or something like that? Well, it seems like there are a lot of videos on how to do that all over the internet. I came up with something that's very simple for Mac users. So I'm going to tell you exactly how we're going to transfer this Garth Brook cassette over to our computer. Let's do it now. Okay, here we go. I've got my Garth Brooks cassette and I want to move it over to my computer. So, obviously the first thing I have to have is my cassette tape. And I also have to have a cassette player. This is a portable one that I have and I can put the cassette right in there. So you've got to have a cassette player in order to transfer the cassette. If you don't have a cassette player, you can get uh, one on eBay or Amazon or something for about 20, 30 bucks. Okay, so now I've got it in there and let's just listen to it a little bit, see if this can, sound can pick it up at all. Knows how long it's been Since I feel so out of place Wondering if I fit in Okay, that sounds pretty good. So I've got my cassette tape and I've got my cassette. Now, how am I going to get this into this right here, into my Mac? Well, um, there are a lot of ways that I've seen on the internet that they show you have to buy all the software and everything. And so the only piece of software you re really need to have is Audacity. Audacity is um, some sound software, and we'll take a look at that in just a minute. But, um, and you also have to have this audio cable. It's a three pin to a USB. Mine is a two USB 2.0. Now you have to look at yours and see if yours is a USB 3.0, which would be a lot thinner than this one here. But this is what plugs into my Mac. You just can't go and order any cable that looks like this. It has to be an audio cable. And if you're looking at cables and you're not sure about which one's audio, which one isn't, you need to read the description very, very carefully. So what I did is I found an audio cable that works real good, and this is called the Clear Click Cable. And it's an audio cable, and this is, these are my and these are my uh, instructions. It doesn't have a whole lot of instruction with it because there's not a whole lot to do with it. It does come with the CD, but what the CD has on it is the Audacity software, which um, if you're doing any audio work at all, you probably already have that. Or you can download Audacity for free. All we're going to do is this. We're just going to plug this cable into the into the the ear the headphones jack and then we're going to plug the other end of the cable into the USB port Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Audacity and we are going to um, work with it there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and get Audacity. And so we're going to type in Audacity and then um, we'll see the Audacity link and we'll go to that and that will show you the free software that you can get. You can download Audacity and then you can manipulate your software. Okay, so now that we've installed Audacity, we are going to go ahead and open it up. We need to 
make sure that we've got the microphone correct because the microphone is going to be a USB PNP audio device. So don't use the built-in microphone. Now we turn on our recorder and then it starts to play and we're not going to be able to hear it while it plays. We can see the audio signals but then we're just going to play a little bit and I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the end just so that we'll have the end of it. Okay, so now we're going to listen to the audio that we recorded and see if it sounds like we want it to sound. Burn my hand and I cut my face Heaven knows how long it's been Since I feel so out of place Wondering if I fit in Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So next we need to go and we want to save it. So we'll go over and we'll save it as um, uh, a name, uh, Garth Brooks or Garth Tape or something like that. Then we save it. Now the next thing we do is we want to export it. So we want to export it as a MP3 file. So that's what we're going to do now and we're exporting it. And so now we can go back on to the desktop and we pull up the MP3 file and let's see what we have on that one. Burn my hand I cut my face Heaven knows how long it's been Since I feel so out of place Wondering if I fit in Okay, that's how you record your cassette over to your Mac. And it's not that hard to do. All you need to do is get that Audacity and a cassette player and the cable that I told you about, and uh, then you'll be able to do it. I will put a description of the cable that you can order to do this down into the description. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoyed the video.